Welcome to lesson four of the human body. We're going to talk about the heart and lungs today. We've got a lot in today's lesson. We'll be covering that the heart doesn't just have one pump, it has two. Like this model here. Two pumps inside the heart. We'll also be covering how the lungs work. And I'll be showing you this model. Now it doesn't look like lungs, but I'll show you later how it works. So, let's get to it. Last lesson we talked about blood and how blood is everywhere in your body. It's pumped around by your heart to the tips of your fingers, to the tips of your toes, to the top of your head. But this week, we're also going to talk about the lungs and how the lungs, combined with the heart, help us stay healthy. Revision time. Blood vessels are all over our body. There are really large blood vessels close to the heart and very, very small blood vessels in the tips of our fingertips that we can't even see. In the last lesson, we said blood vessels were very similar to something that we drive our cars on. Can you remember? Did you remember that we compared blood vessels to roads? Blood vessels carry red blood cells, white blood cells and nutrients all around the body. Roads carry cars and passengers and goods all around the country. Now, did you remember something else about the skeleton? Where is blood made in the skeleton? Think. Did you remember that blood is made in the bone marrow? the spongy material at the centre of the bone? The heart. the heart. Your heart is in the centre of your chest, just a little bit to the left. If you put your hand on your heart, just like James is, you might feel it beating underneath. Do it now. Can you feel your heart beating? Concentrate. You'll need to be quiet. If a doctor wants to listen to your heartbeat, they'll use a special instrument called a stethoscope. But there are other ways. We call it your pulse, and you can feel your pulse in your wrist. You can feel your pulse in your neck. You can also get special watches that will read the pulse in your wrist, or you can get a pulse monitor to put on your finger. A blue whale, the biggest animal on earth, has a heart rate of 10 beats per minute. It goes like, ba-boom. Ba-boom. Ba-boom, like that. The heart pumps blood all around the body, but it's actually two pumps joined together a left side and a right side. One side pumps blood all around the body and back to the other side that pumps it to the lungs. See the little blood cell to show how it goes through one side of the heart only? The lungs. The lungs. This picture shows the blood vessels in the lungs. See the tiny little vessels there and the heart pumping in the chest? The heart is pumping blood all around the body, but it's also pumping it into the lungs. But why? It's so the lungs can bring air in 
with oxygen. See those tubes? They're bringing air in from the outside every time you breathe. But what is in the air that we're breathing? There are lots and lots of particles, particles of different gases, but the one we want is oxygen. And the one we want to get rid of is carbon dioxide. How the oxygen gets into the lungs? Starring oxygen molecules. Carbon dioxide molecules. The story so far. Let's watch. The tip truck comes in, he drops off a load, then the little men give him a load and he drives away. Let's talk about what's actually happening here in a little more detail. We'll need to slow things down just a bit to look more carefully. The tip truck, who's pretending to be a red blood cell, is bringing a load of carbon dioxide to the two men who were the lung cells. They're loading him up with an oxygen and then they take away the carbon dioxide to remove it from the lungs. Our cells need oxygen, but they are always making carbon dioxide, even when we are just standing still. When we move, we actually make more carbon dioxide because our cells are working harder but we also need more oxygen. So you'll notice that when you're playing or running around or exercising with mum or dad you might find you're breathing a lot harder and when you feel your pulse your heart is beating a lot faster. That's because both your heart and lungs are trying to get the oxygen to all the cells in your body. But they're also trying to get the carbon dioxide that your cells have been making out of your body. Because our cells don't like carbon dioxide. Fun fact! If you breathe on your hand, you'll notice that your breath is wet. This is because we breathe both carbon dioxide and water. We normally breathe out about a can, a can of water every day. How do How lungs do work? work? This is the model that I showed to you at the beginning of the lesson. The glass jar is meant to be our rib cage. The two balloons inside are meant to be our lungs and the little white tube and the black cork are our windpipe. The rubber secured underneath seals the glass jar and it's meant to act as the muscle under our rib cage called the diaphragm. When our diaphragm or our muscle under the lungs moves up and down, it causes air to be pushed in or pushed out of our lungs. Watch the balloons as I pull the rubber diaphragm and make the balloons fill up with air and then deflate and lose all their air. So the air going in and out of the balloons is the same as the air going in and out of our lungs. So while you're watching the air going in and out of the balloons, Put your hand on your chest and take some deep breaths. Can you feel your diaphragm moving? Can you feel the air going in and out of your lungs? Deep breath in, deep breath out. Revision time. What was the gas that our cells make but don't like? Did you remember? carbon dioxide. That was a jam-packed lesson. Did you get all the revision questions right? Give yourself a pat on the back and remember 
give yourself a pretend sticker. I'll see you next week. Bye.